Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic the Gathering. Today we're going to see if I can finally complete the Battle for Zendikar campaign. There's only two missions to go, so if I can get a win in both of these duels, I'll be able to finish this in this video. With that said, let's get going. You consult with the other planeswalkers. You all agree that Alamog must be stopped, but you disagree over the strategy. Kiora refuses to compromise and storms off into the sea. You can't afford to lose more of your team. You must convince Nyssa and Jace to trust your plan. Hmm. So... Oh, hello. Nyssa is your opponent, but Jace strengthens her fight against... If you need a refresher on Planeswalker card... Yeah, I know how Planeswalkers work, so... Okay, I've got to fight Nyssa. Who will be... Using Jace as a Planeswalker. Straight out the gate, ouch! At least he's only got one loyalty at the moment. And only two lands in my opening hand. No white mana. <laughs> this is risky. Now I'll draw a new hand. There we go, that's a little better. Keep that one. Planes out. These come into play tapped unless I have basic la two basic lands in play. So if I get another basic land in my next turn, that means I can get them out on turn three and four without having to tap them. Oy, oy, oy. Here we goes. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, his abilities are plus two. Each player draws a card, minus one, target player draws a card, and minus ten, that's the one I want to make sure he doesn't get. Target player puts the top twenty cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Yeah, that's nasty. Okay, well I've got land now. Let's throw out the planes because that's all the... I've just got white mana cards at the moment, so... Let's throw out the core castigator. Hopefully he can beat down Jace before the uh, before Nissa can get any decent creatures on the field. Well, you know, Nissa could get a creature out straight away. That could also happen. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, plus one, plus one until end of turn. Okay. Might the monsters. Destroy target creature with power 4 or greater. That's not going to help me yet. Right, let's start throwing these out. Gideon's Reproach could help me here. But... I don't think it's worth it yet. Okay, let's attack Jace. Try and bring him down. Does he block? Yes, he blocks. Okay, they take each other out. Not much I can do about that. This is pilgrimage. Ah, that just gets some more lands. Okay. Trying to build up to something nasty, probably. Plus, I've got a free shot at him now. And far too many cards in my hand. No, I'm on seven at the moment. But... I need to start being able to play my cards out. <laughs> Most of these are instants. Which are useless to me until they need to get some creatures on the board. There we go. And here we go, more cards. Fire Mantle Mage. Yeah. Well, that's something at least. Let's throw out more land, throw out the Fire Mantle Mage. Now 
now have Menace, which means they can't block my core Castigator. Because they need at least two creatures. There we go. That's another three damage through. Oh, what's this? Oh, more land searching. Okay, what's coming out? 5-5. Five, five. Well, I can use my... Smite the monstrous on that. Seven seven makes it even more useful to use Smite the Monstrous on that, and I shall destroy that with this. There we go. I need to get rid of some of these cards, otherwise I'm gonna have to discard when he keeps using his ability to give me more cards. Here we go. So many cards. Okay, what have we got here? Core Blade Ball. Creatures gain first strike. Okay. Do I have the mana to cast both? Yes, I do. Okay. Smite the monstrous. Goodbye. Now a poor blade wall comes out. Giving everybody first strike and monstrous. Menace even. Not monstrous. And let's take out Jace. Confirm attack. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> okay, that's Jace off the field. Now I just have to bring down this as 20 life. She's got a lot of land. And she's getting out even more. To what point and purpose? Territorial Baloth. 4-4. Four, four. Okay. I can just kill that with a smite the monstrous again. Which I think I might do. What's this? Royal's Retribution. 5 damage to fight. If I do as I choose. Yeah, I'll just smite the monstrous on that. Get it off the field now. That way my 7 damage here can go straight through uncontested. Might have been worth waiting for it to block so I could use Gideon's Reproach instead, but mm, I'd rather get the damage through. And if it blocks, then even if I destroy it, I don't get the damage through. So. 2 4 with Reach. Okay. 2 2 4 with Reach. 2 4s with Reach. Well, I can kill them both with Gideon's Reproaches. It's gonna lower my damage up at this turn, but oh well. Handy. Let's throw you up. There we go. Lots and lots and lots of buffs going out. Attack with all on Nissa. Yep. And uh, he's going to block one of them with both of them, probably. Yep. However, I am going to use Gideon's Reproach on each of them. There we go. That's another four damage on the table. Got rid of two of his creatures. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. And this guy's going to keep powering up every time I pull, play out an ally. Scythe Leopard. 1-1 one, one with landfall. Not much of a threat. Okay, so he's going to use that to get rid of one of my guys. That's annoying. But what can you do? I'm just going to attack with these two. Because he would die to it. And I don't want to have to use up my Roy Royal's Retribution on just a 1-1. One -one. There we go. That's a little bit more damage through. Well, I'm looking for a win condition here. What's this? This is Revelation.
Okay. Card draw and life regain. <laughs> oh, 1-1. One, one. Ouch. That was the best he could manage. At least he gets it out on the field. There's that. <laughs> and it's a 2-2 two, two now. Which is unfortunate. Which means I'm going to have to use Royal's Retribution against it, so I might as well attack with it. Bit more damage through, he's down to six. One more turn without anything getting blocked, and I win. Oh no, he's got a blocker. And I'm top decking now. Which is not good. Aha, an ally! Perfect. There we go. Now I got him. Because all my creatures now have menace which means he needs at least two creatures to be able to block something. There we go. Took a little while, but we got there. Goodbye, Nissa. We're doing it my way. Oh, I've got a lot of gold. <laughs> and I'm getting points towards these quests as well. Good. You and the other planeswalkers agree on a plan to confront, contain Olamog and defeat him. Yeah, my plan. Each of you has an important role to play. While Nissa and Jace assemble the Hedrons to trap the Titan, you hold the encroaching Eldrazi forces at bay. Oh yes, guess what? I have to fight Eldrazi again. Thanks to the cover you provided, Jace and Nissa were able to align the Hedrons and trap Olamog. But suddenly a fresh wave of Eldrazi rises up from the depths of the sea. They're everywhere. There's no time to plan. You have to fight. Okay, so Olamog's been contained by the Hedrons. But I still need to defeat. Oh, hello. It's only a matter of time before Olamog breaks his bonds. Defeat the Tide of Eldrazi before it's too late. Okay. That's interesting. He's got 30 life. Okay. And I start off with one land. Uh, no, let's try that again. Oh, come on. Still only one land. Uh, and now I've got almost nothing but... Uh, I'm going to have to go with it. Okay, here we go. Harder free blade. At least I've got a stasis there. Which can be useful for getting rid of enemy nastiness and at least I started out with the free blade who's going to power up every time I summon an ally like this Oran Reef survivalist unfortunately I don't have the source of green mana this turn so I'm gonna have to play out the planes and then I can play out the cinder glade next turn in the meantime let's attack they hinted I'm on the time limit here so Let's be quick about this. Put on the pressure. Okay, and he's got no creature this turn either. Good, good, good. There we go, let's get out the survivalist. That buffs up my free blade. And the survivalist gets a buff as well. If I get enough allies, these two could get out of hand really quickly. Which is probably what I need, really. Okay, has he got any creatures yet? Yep, he's got something coming up. On one out, I'll see Scion into the battlefield. Whenever another creature you control dies, scry one. Okay, it's 2 3, which is a bit of a pain. But not insurmountable. Should I just use that now? It would help me pour on the pressure in the early game. Which is where I'm at my weakest. Or should I wait for something really nasty? Now let's try and use it. Let's 
Let's play a bold strategy here. You are now exiled. There we go. Four more damage coming at his face. Chooses not to block. I'm not really worried about a 1-1, so... It's going to take it 20 turns to kill me if it's the only thing attacking, so... Yeah. Okay, come on, give me some more allies. Oh, he's got another one. Okay. Okay, now I really need some allies, please. I can do nothing now. Best I could do is attack with this, but he blocked with both of these and I lose it. No, let's not do that. Okay, let's block like so. Yeah, so let him scry, I know. But I'd rather that than him getting more damage through. Uh, oh dear, another ingest creature. Hit those things. Come on, ally, ally, ally. It is an ally. But I don't have enough mana of the right colours to play it. Oh, that would be a nice one to play out as well. Ugh. Come on. Need more green mana to be able to play that one. Okay, I'll take two damage to get rid of this one. There we go. And now he's got out a Brood Butcher. Sacrifice a creature target, creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. Oh, that's nasty, that is very nasty. Which means I need all of these guys to have at least three toughness to avoid being killed by that. Which I don't have. Okay, evolving worlds, come on, find me some green mana. There we go, that'll do. Can't afford to attack. And he's gonna kill that this turn, I bet. He's gonna sacrifice that to kill that. You watch. Yep, there we go. Oh, damn. Took too long to get my other allies out. Oh, great. Even better. Okay, I think I've got to lose this one, guys. This is not good. Summoning that gives my creatures lifelink, which I suppose is something. I'm not going to waste it by summoning it this turn. I want to wait until next turn and then summon it. Uh, skip blocking. From beyond. Great, he's gonna keep getting silent. Because that's exactly what I need for him to have more stuff on the field. Yeah, he's in the glade, that's really gonna help. Well, at least I can hit him for. I could have hit him for four this turn. Then he did that. Oh god. Come on. Give me a chance here. Oh, he's immediately sacrificing it to pull out a Eldrazi. Interesting. And that's the one he chooses? All the Eldrazi he has in his deck. 
not. Ah, I just wanted something to sacrifice to do that. Oh, great. Yeah, guys, I think I've lost this. The don't I don't see any way I can get back in this fight. It's got me less next turn unless I get something useful. And that is not useful. Yep. Game over. Oh well, I tried. So I'm not going to finish it this this episode, but in the next episode I'll bring you the uh, version of this duel in which I actually win. Until then, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Stay bad.